So Mindy, our Hereford girl, she's a registered Hereford. Well, she finally had her babies last night. Um, super strange. So I find that every time I farrow out a salve that you kind of learn something new every single time. So she definitely gave me the runaround and she was not my typical farrowing. But uh, I'll just give you the down low on what all happened. So she was due on June 2nd and she actually went overdue. Mindy is the first pig on our farm that we've ever AI'd. So that was a whole new thing to learn how to AI a sow. And I was really curious how that was going to all go down and what was going to happen with that. So we AI'd her to a Berkshire and she settled well the first time and everything is fine anyways. So she went five days overdue and of course every day I'm checking on her, checking on her, wondering when the heck she's going to give up these hostages. So finally last night, um, she went into labor and she started having her babies and she had no trouble farrowing. It was a super easy, no problem farrowing, really good, went smoothly. However, um, there was two strange things that happened during the farrowing, aside from her also being five days overdue, which I thought was weird, but I don't know, maybe that's more normal for AI. I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, the first weird thing was that she gave birth to five mummified piglets, and these were bigger mummified piglets than I've ever seen. So usually when we've had a sow give birth to like a mummy piglet, it's like a little piglet, like about that big. And this time it was like a full term piglet, aside from a couple, but there was about three full term size piglets that were mummified. They had died maybe probably a week before she farrowed. And that was strange. And so, yeah. And then the other strange thing was she had one piglet that was born with a fatal birth defect. So it actually had most of its internal organs on the outside of it instead of the inside. And yeah, unfortunately, that one passed away. So we had a quite a bit smaller litter than I wanted. But we still ended up with five live babies. We got two girls and three boys. So two gilts and three boars, and they are all doing great. There's one little tiny runty, and she's super, super tiny, probably the smallest pig I've ever seen, but she's feisty and she's doing really good. So I'm hoping that with, you know, the lack of competition that she should grow just fine. And Mindy's being a great mom. I was a little bit worried about her last night because she was getting up a lot and seemed uncomfortable and seemed like she was really unsure of what to do with these babies. But today she's calmed down so much more and she's talking to her babies and everything is going fine. And she's her usual self. She loves her people. She's very friendly. <laughs> so she's being a good mom. I mean, you can tell that she gets a little bit nervous when her babies are upset but she's very tolerant of me being in here. So that's how that went. Um, but like I said, every farrowing kind of teaches you something different. So I think what this has taught me is that, um, I think we're probably gonna get our farm on a little bit of a different vaccination protocol because I have talked to a few people and I think what the problem might be is some type of reproductive virus that the sow acquires that affects litter size and it's just typical for a virus like that to create those mummy pigs and you know a couple mummy pigs is fine but to have as many as we did in a litter of that size is quite significant so I think we'll definitely be looking into getting a different vaccination protocol just to prevent that from happening again. But anyways, that is how that all went, and Mindy's doing great, babies are doing great. Nothing else to report, really, in that regard. I'm happy with how it went. It wasn't a struggle, I didn't have to pull any piglets, and yeah. So thanks again for watching, guys, and take care.